Hi, I'm not an authority on the subject. I'm not a doctor, but I do consider myself a highly intelligent person that isn't going around shopping centers buying an abundant source of toilet paper. I'm just a simple person uh, working in the health and fitness industry that has a brain. So thank you for taking the time to listen to this video. I'm pretty sure it's going to be worthwhile. An apple a day may not keep the doctor away, but the University of Iowa researchers have proved how massive doses of vitamin C help fight three of the deadliest forms of cancer alone. Now, they're launching a new round of clinical trials in cancer patients using intravenous vitamin C along with chemotherapy and radiation. My question to you is this, why do cancer patients around the world not know this? And why does Australia not have this information? Truth is that I don't know and nobody ever will know for sure, but something here seems a bit sus. Now, influenza, commonly known as the flu, is an infectious disease caused by the influenza virus. Symptoms can be mild to severe. The most common symptoms include a high fever, runny nose, sore throat, muscle pains, headaches, coughing, and feeling tired. These symptoms typically begin uh, two days after exposure to the virus and last about a week. The cough, however, however, may last for more than two weeks. Three symptoms and three types of the influenza virus affect people. Affecting people is called type A, B, and C, according to Longo 2012. Influenza kills as many as 50 to 70,000 people annually in the United States alone. Of even greater concern is that annual influenza deaths have been seen to be on the rise, increasing substantially over the last two decades, according to Thompson 2003. However, vitamin C in high enough doses has already been shown to be very effective at eradicating the influenza virus, sometimes after serious complications. Now, these things have risen along with many other viral symptoms, according to Klenner 49 and Vegas 1963. But in spite of this information, vitamin C is still not routinely utilized against this infectious disease, and none of the various forms of vitamin C are included in the formula formularities of nearly all Australian hospitals. To this date, no general effective therapeutic measures have been recognized for treating influenza or viral diseases in general, despite all this documentation and proof. There have been a number of reports in the literature documenting that infectious disease processes rapidly accelerate vitamin C depletion and greatly increase vitamin C requirement, according to Pauline 71 and Levi uh, 2002. Vitamin C is an essential nutrient for humans. Let's, not, let's get that straight. Uh, with a range of functions related to its ability to donate electrons. Vitamin C contributes to immune defense by supporting and directly stimulating various cellular functions of both the innate and adaptive immune system. Consistent with this documented ability of vitamin C uh, to upregulate the immune system, the scientific literature has abundant documentation of the ability of vitamin C to cure a number of viruses, according to Klenner 51. Stone 72, um, Levi 2002, and then Gonzalez 14, Gonzalez 16, and a range of other documents that I've read. Now, the truth is that China is currently doing a case study on mega doses of vitamin C on the COVID-19 virus. But this will not be completed until, I think, October, November, I think it's September. Um, I'm not saying that vitamin C and mega dosing is to replace any medication, right? So I'm not saying that. I'm not saying to replace any medication suggested by the government, uh, but there's absolutely nothing to lose with using it now. The worst case scenario is diarrhea and hot flushes. I mean, if you take too much of it, your body will simply pee it out. Uh, this video is not about some wives tale or something that one person told something that doesn't exist. Everything I've stated in this video is factual and is documented. So all I ask is for all of you to think for yourselves instead of acting like sheep for toilet paper and start growing a brain and do the following. Stay at home, practice social distancing, eat healthy, clean your house, um, sterilize it, include 2000 milligrams of vitamin C a day spread over 500 milligram doses with food and raise this number to six to 9000 milligrams. If you become symptomatic, go to the hospital immediately but do not do any strenuous exercise that will lower the immune system. Keep your exercise with, lower, with your heart rate lowered, 
uh, to moderate intensity using oxygen system and not the lactic acid energy system. Keep stress levels low, eat healthy and have a positive mindset. Uh, stay safe Australia. Talk to you soon.